Go ahead, JR. I'll just say shout out to all the Democrats living in mom's basement and like talking on the internet. <laughs> um, you know, no matter how hard you try, arguing on the internet is like being in the Special Olympics. Oh, okay. No matter how good you perform, you you still have uh, you're still retarded. Uh, <laughs> A candidate for the House from Ohio, J.R. Majewski, used the R word and the Special Olympics in an interview on the Trifecta Hour. So, yeah, that's going to get clipped and ran against me in the general election. But uh, Well, you're not um, going to get the slow people vote. I can tell you that. That's let's right. go. Right. Let's go. I mean, look, let's go. My, aunt, my aunt has Asperger's, but you know, she acknowledges the fact that she... Don't tokenize Asperger's. <laughs> No. <laughs> Good That's job, literally you try to talk to one of them liberals online, like literally everything yeah. you say. Then he mentions his aunt has Asperger's, so it must be okay to say the R word. Or maybe this is just how he talks when he knows she's not listening. Meanwhile, are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. I'm J.D. Vance, and I approve this message. Sellout Senator J.D. Vance, who compared Trump to the big H, has endorsed Majewski. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? These people are odious on the inside and out. They're like 5'2", 350 pounds, and they're like, give me my abortions or I'll get up and march and protest. And I'm thinking, march? You look like you got ankles weaker than the legal reasoning behind Roe versus Wade. A few of them need to get up and march. They need to get up and march for like an hour a day, swing those arms, get the blood pumping, maybe mix in a salad. And allege, you know what, Matt Gates also endorsed Majewski. Meanwhile, JR, when not lying about his record, performs rap videos. We'll leave a link in the description box below, but honestly, just, just take my word for it. Don't watch it. Did you serve in Afghanistan? Yes, I did. How many tours? One. What What year were you there? What years? Uh, 2000, 2002, 2003. Wow. So you served right at, right at the beginning. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, tough. Tough. I don't like talking about my military experience. Not, 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 that, um, not that we've said too much. I just don't... I don't really like to... I really don't like to divulge a lot of things about the military. There's a reason why he doesn't like to, in his words, divulge his tenure in the military, as my colleague J.R. Jackson outlined in September of 2022. Military documents obtained by the Associated Press through a public records request tell a different story than what Majewski was just telling. They indicate that he never deployed to Afghanistan, but instead he completed a six month stint helping to load planes at an air base in Qatar, a longtime US ally that is a safe distance from the fighting. Throughout his campaign, Majewski has offered his Air Force service as a valuable credential. The tagline he has is veteran for Congress that appears on campaign merchandise. He ran a Facebook ad promoting himself as a combat veteran. And in a campaign video released this year, Majewski also marauds through a vacant factory with a rifle while pledging to restore an America that is independent and strong like the country I fought for. Why is he walking through a vacant factory? That's some serious fighting he's been doing there. Uh, so anymore, there's more recently to this. Uh, the House Republican Campaign Committee released a biography that describes Majewski as a veteran whose squadron was one of the first on the ground in Afghanistan soon after 9-11. So, I mean, after all this valor, after all this courage, he must have something to show for it. The AP continued by saying this, Majewski lacks many of the medals that are typically awarded to those who served in Afghanistan. Though he once said he went more than 40 days without a shower during his time in the landlocked country, he does not have an Afghanistan campaign medal, which was issued to those who served 30 consecutive days or 60 non-consecutive days in the country. He also didn't receive a, medal, a global war on terrorism expeditionary medal, which was issued to service members before the creation of the Afghanistan campaign medal if they were deployed overseas in a direct service to the war on terror. You know, there was a there was a tough time in life. Um, you know, the military wasn't easy, but in retrospect, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. And you know, I'd do it all over again. But you know, out of respect of you know many things you know I, I you know my answer to most people when they ask about my military services you know i served i served honorably and um i fought for this country for a lot of months over in the middle east and uh so did a lot of people that went with me 
And, you know, when I see all these things that are going on today, I mean, if I could, if I could uh, put my BDUs back on, if I wasn't so chubby, I'd, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably try to find a way to do it. So he lied. He flat out lied. After his Special Olympics comments, the Lucas County GOP would censure him. Jessica Stewart, president and CEO of the Special Olympics, would say, In building communities of respect and inclusivity, it is important to understand how words or actions can hurt others. For people with intellectual disability and those who support and love them, use of the disparaging R word or degrading the life-changing impact of Special Olympics around the world and here in Ohio is not acceptable. In addition, not only did he use the slur and lie about his military record, Jer Majewski was at the Capitol on January 6th. He's like playing the MAGA bingo here. He is to no surprise, a believer in the Shmuanon conspiracy theory. On February 27th, Majewski, who was launching his second bid to unseat Democrat rep Marcy Kaptur, considered dropping out. Per Politico, his comments had clearly rattled some supporters. One local government official in Majewski's home county wrote on Facebook, she worked with special needs children for over a decade. And she removed her pro Majewski yard signs. Quote, so many of us were hurt by this, close quote. More from Ali Mutnick. Party strategists were banking on former Ohio rep Craig Riedel to block Majewski from the NOM. Then audio leaked late last year of him calling Trump arrogant and vowing to refrain from endorsing him. The revelation would cause panic amongst the GOP, who feared Craig would not be able to win a primary filled with MAGA, but that Majewski would not be able to win a general. They deployed the following strategy. Convincing a third candidate, Rep. Derek Marin, to jump into the race shortly before the filing deadline. The Congressional Leadership PAC, a super PAC aligned with House Republican leadership, has spent half a million dollars to boost Marin. As of this taping, Majewski has since decided to stay in the race. Quote, after carefully considering the pressure and attacks by the Washington establishment machine, my family and I have decided that there is no mission more important than continuing this race and standing strong for the patriots I am committed to fight for. God, this guy is crazy. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Pretty incredible that an entire party and the Ohio GOP will censure this man, but then will hope that he wins and not have him drop out? Interesting. In addition, this man clearly has no shame. From the R-word slur to lying about his military service, multiple times <laughs> in a way I channel Dennis Green when I hear Majewski is who we thought they were it's just the same exact tune all of these dudes every single time they're being rolled out as candidates completely unqualified and yet still a chance incredible If there are any stories to be missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. And please, if you can, support the network. Go to tyt.com slash join.